Do isolation transformers degrade the sound? Well, this is a good question, and it comes to us from Ferro's in Fort Lee, New Jersey. New Jersey. Um, hey, Paul, I noticed that when I added an isolation transformer to my DAC, now he's talking about on the AC supply, it degraded the sound. I had read many articles heaping lots of benefits to this, but didn't find it to actually work in my system. When you have a moment, I'd appreciate your input. Thanks and best regards. Yeah, I, I've got some pretty strong feelings about that. So let, let, let's talk a little bit about isolation transformers. The AC power is connected to our homes through hundreds of feet of wire. So it starts out with an isolation transformer, a step-down transformer that's on the power pole or inside of a, you know, a box somewhere near you. And that AC transformer steps down 20, 30,000 volts down to the 120 or actually 230 in this country. Uh, and then we split it off at our house. But in any case, let's just call it the 120 volts that we want in our homes. And then from that transformer, it's distributed to, I don't know, 20 neighbors, 30, you know, whatever it is. So a group of your neighbors, or if you live in an apartment or a condo or whatever, are all sharing the power from the transformer that has stepped the voltage down from the very high volts down to a reasonable number of, of volts that we, we need in our homes. So the idea is that since we're sharing all this power with our neighbors and everything they do on their line, it, it affects our line. So if they, if they put on a noisy this or a noisy that, or they start you know, putting compressors and motors and things going on, it's gonna start flattening the top of the sine wave out and do things that will affect everybody that's sharing our power. And, and unless you sit out on a farmhouse all by your little self with your own transformer on the pole, you're sharing power with your neighbors, okay? And so the idea is if we take a separate power transformer, an isolation transformer, that takes 120 volts in, outputs 120 volts on the other side, or 230, 230 if you're over in Europe or in parts of Asia, that it will isolate magnetically your power from the neighborhood power. So while this is a good idea and, and it's, it's interesting and it theoretically sounds good, I don't like what it does. And, and, I'll, and I'll tell you why. First off, on a one-to-one -one transformer, whatever's happening over here happens over here. Okay, it's not, it's not like you're isolating it to the point where what you're gonna get out is better than what goes in. You still have all the problems of everybody that's sharing the line. You haven't accomplished anything other than physically disconnecting the wire and now magnetically coupling it. But if the voltage drops on the input side of the transformer, the voltage drops on the output side of the transformer. If there's distortion on the input side of the transformer from your neighbors, there's distortion on the output side of the transformer, just as if the wires were tied together. So you haven't really accomplished much. What you have done is eliminated, to some extent, some of the higher frequency noises because isolation transformers don't have very good bandwidth, and therefore they don't pass along some of the noise. There is no connected ground, but of course, the ground in any of these systems is actually coming from your home anyway. So maybe there's a few advantages of isolation. None are going to offer you advantages in terms of quality of AC. And the second thing to think about, maybe it's the third or the fourth, <laughs> I'm not keeping track, sorry. You have increased the impedance. You, you want in a perfect world to have your stereo system, a high-end stereo system, plug directly into the output of that transformer on the pole that's feeding everybody. That's what you'd like, you know, a two-foot cable, right? That's what you want. But, of course, you've got hundreds of feet and plenty of neighbors to, to deal with, so you're not getting that. By adding an isolation transformer, you're making that distance greater in effect. 
okay? The actual distance isn't greater. But the effects of increasing impedance, which we don't want, is greater. So the only way to really get rid of the problems is by using an AC regenerator. An AC regenerator takes that sine wave, puts it into a, a power amplifier, if you will, and regenerates a new sine wave that doesn't have any of these problems from your neighbors, doesn't have the flat top sine wave, doesn't have the distortion and the dropping voltage and all that. What comes out is perfect AC, and that's how you get great sound, using an accurate uh, AC generator like what we make which is our power plant line of products. So I would certainly put a power plant or if you don't have a power plant maybe it's it's too pricey for you get rid of the isolation transformer and go directly into the wall. That's always going to be a better bet than going through an isolation transformer. Thanks. Talk to you tomorrow.